Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the stored processor and you know that uh, lots of people asking me how to do uh, a CRUD operation in ASP.NET Core using stored processor. So first of all, we are discussing about a simple process of the CRUD operation using stored procedure. So just uh, open your database and just use programmatically and here we have a stored procedure now just create a new stored procedure just create stored procedure procedure name but before doing this first of all add some fields in the table or you can say that uh, on the basis of the table you have to design a stored procedure so here we have some stored procedure like create customer that is the create here we have uh, four fields first name last name email and phone as begin set no count on insert into customer these are the fields value by using the parameters okay so everything is know that so here we have a create action method create i mean to say that all fields are inserted by the parameters so here we have get customer by id so uh, just uh, here we have only the id property of the customer so um, you just get the customer uh, get the ID uh, get the customer by their ID so using select operator and in the where code we have a customer ID as a parameter you know that you can see that everything is uh, everything is inside in the stored procedure so here we have a get customer ID everything uh, the query actually uh, inside in the customer in the stored procedure okay so the next one is create is done get customer by ID that is the one record at a time now the next one is update customer so here we have all four parameter as well as the next one parameter on the basis of customer id you want to change these data so update first name last name email phone id equals to at the rate of customer id okay so everything is uh, done uh, about the uh, update customer now the next one is to get all and delete the uh, uh, delete the store uh, delete the customer by their stored procedure so that is the stored procedure you have to design in uh, design in a uh, uh, database okay so that is a basic simple step you can do so uh, the next one is you have now the get all customer by using the get all customer uh, you can uh, without any parameter you need that is select id first name last name and the and, and that all now the next uh, video i will go for the uh, a single stored procedure can do insert update and delete operations okay you know that so uh, the basic uh, actually here i'm using uh, three tier architecture that is already done in the previous video you can check it uh, my videos uh, that is the three tier architecture and the same project I am uh, actually use right here. So here we have a customer i customer repository and here we have these are the methods. So in the customer repository actually communicate with the database table. So here I am using connection string as well as the on the basis of the connection string I am going to design SQL connection command and command actually use the parameters uh, in the form of uh, you can say that a stored procedure. So first of all design uh, the interface uh, that is a customer repository that is already actually created but uh, on the basis of the uh, command queries and stored procedure just I am going to design it. Uh, uh, okay so here we have without any task operation just I am going to add it uh, only use void customer void void that is the type of null returning type create get by id and delete and update the customers okay so you know that so uh, to store procedure in the repository pattern in esp.net core uh, that is the there are the uh, there we have some procedure or you can say that uh, there we have some steps first to st uh, store procedure in your database that perform the desired operation create a new method in your repository in, uh, interface that will be called the stored procedure okay so here we have and uh, you know that uh, if you want to do a stored procedure 
so there is the basic steps okay so here we have a customer repository and customer services where uh, that is the com actually customer repository directly communicate with the database so here i'm uh, here uh, i i design and i create a new uh, database repository right okay so that is a communicate with the database directly so there is a no need to install ef actually entity framework that is the type of you can say that it's a type of uh, middleware where uh, communicate it's a orm you can say that object relational mapping between the tables and the code so there is a no need so directly communicate with the database by using the code you have a class uh, like a sql connection sql uh, sql command class data reader data adapter data set and and all so why you why you are uh, wasting your time with the ef so just i am going to design this types of thing and also uh, we have a uh, lots of uh, queries uh, fire with the uh, database so if you have a complex project then you can use uh, sql queries directly with the uh, sql you can say uh, sql server okay so here we have a delete operation by their id property so this is the sql uh, sql connection connection new connection sql connection and a connection string uh, a sql command and sql command type that is the type uh, is the short procedure and parameter with the value customer id and customer dot id the property so here we have some values of the customer okay so here we have a configuration in built in class that provide access to configuration values in various configuration sources okay so if you want to design a stored procedure in a single uh, file there is a uh, you can say that it's a wonderful task you can do okay so that, that is the later video uh, i will design on the basis of the single uh, stored procedure you can do all cred operations so here we have a sql connection and uh, command type is the stored procedure and add with value that is customer id id property that is comes from the url and here we have a sql connection open and the customer id that, that is read all the data from the reader class sql data reader command dot execute reader so you can check all these things one by one and uh, similarly we have a update uh, the customer sql connection connection new sql connection sql command command type is stored procedure parameters is add with values okay so everything is fine now here we have a i enumerable of customer uh, void create get by id and all i customer repository and that is the get all method that is the customer id first name last name email and phone so here we have a get all method list uh, customer equals to new list of items sql connection sql command command equals to new sql command and all command dot command type okay so uh, in the customer service just i am going to use actually uh, customer repository so here i am using i configuration file and configuration by using the configuration you just initialize the connection string okay so uh, just use the constructor and uh, in the customer repository you have to initialize the customer repository instead of dependency injection okay so you know new and this is the thing you can do new customer repository and in the later video just i am going to design uh, on the on the basis of di just i am going to do this okay so 
if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon and uh, here you can see that the customer repository have a connection string property so you can you can use customer repository right here so by using the customer repository and you can just get the all parameters like the get customer async so just get all method in the in the service project so here we have it's not a actually a wait and async basis so it's not a get awaiter type so just remove this uh, remove that part from here and uh, that's fine now you can you can also uh, implement all these functions on the basis of this okay so here i'm using only the get all uh, async method and the remaining that is update delete and uh, that is simple because uh, similarly you can uh, you can design this you can design all this so thank you guys for watching this video and if you want to know asp.net configuration is a built-in class that provide access to configuration values in various configuration sources such as app settings authorization file environment variable command line arguments and more the configuration class is a part of the microsoft.extension.configuration namespace so which is a part of microsoft.extension.configuration package this package is provide a consistent way to work with the configuration values across uh, different configuration sources allowing you to easily retrieve settings and other configuration data for your application okay so here i'm using i configuration file and uh, just only i am going to use um, actually services because in the controller just i am going uh, just uh, here i am using uh, i customer service instead of uh, i customer repository so there is a no uh, changes in the i customer repository because there is a no uh, any uh, use of i customer repository right here but i customer service is actually used it here so uh, you you can just inject as a dependency uh, that is the i customer service okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos this is related to uh, store procedures and uh, and their functions okay so thank you guys for watching